Welcome to Fibbage. Today's grand prize is three pounds of chipped ham. Sadly, after ham taxes, that comes out to zero ham. Four players. Yeah, feels right. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's go. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Okay, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. A New Orleans man was arrested in 2008 when police discovered 200 grams of heroin in his blank. Now, on your device, type out a good lie that you think other players might believe is true. And if you can't think of something, press the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device. Let's see what everybody selected. That's a lot of junk in your trunk. Category. Here's a question for you. There is a famous statue near the Brussels Town Hall that's said to embody the spirit of the city. It depicts a little boy who is blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one is the truth? All right, who picked what? So, Brussels has the same spirit as a bootleg Calvin sticker on the back of a pickup. Alright, choose a category. Okay, we don't have all day. Now listen up. Clause 11 in Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution gives Congress the power to declare war. Surprisingly, it also grants them power to blank. Write your lies now.
<laughs> okay, take a look and find the truth. Let's see how things shook out. <laughs> that was a good lie. <laughs> Nobody thought of this. Today, they mostly use this power to get meet and greets with Johnny Depp. On to round two, where all point values are doubled. Okay, you can look at this, but don't touch. It's time to look at this. This patent belongs to Anthony Steffen, renowned inventor of the automatic blank. Okay, enter your lies. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> nice fibbing. <laughs> that was a complete miss. Time to pick a category. And time's up. Okay, focus up. In an odd form of tribute, visitors to the grave of U.S. Civil War General Stonewall Jackson often leave blank instead of flowers. Answer your lies now. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. I love this part. As the saying goes, if life gives you lemons, you're probably dead.
select a category. Here's the question. The police department of the Canadian town of Kensington publicly apologized for their 2016 announcement that the new punishment for drunk driving would be blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay, find the truth. And what did people pick? They apologized because a more current music reference would have been the Chainsmokers. This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. There is a creepy urban legend in Korea about the malicious ghost Akamanto. Before killing you, it will simply ask you if you want blank or blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. Just as long as it's not whatever those bears use.
Welcome to Enough About You, the bonus sixth game in this party pack. And by bonus, I mean lower your expectations. Hey, I thought I told you for never to show your faces around here again, but apparently I've mistaken you for someone else. I'm sorry, I'm yelling. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's do this. Here's how it works. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and if the question's about you, you get a reputation bonus for every player who gets the answer right. Good? Good. Time to answer your question. Hey, I'm serious about that timer. Finish quick. All right, question one. For a while, this player weirdly believed blank. Write your lies now. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Try this one. A job this player would be excited to try. Okay, enter your lies. All right, pick the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Let's see what we got. If this player had three wishes, they'd probably spend one on blank. And to your lies now.
Hurry up and finish before time runs out. All right, find the truth. Let's see how things shook out. Ten years old, this player wanted to meet blank. All right, type in your lies. All right, where's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. time. Everybody submits one truth about themselves and one lie. Doesn't matter what it is. Make that lie good. You'll rack up points for every sucker you fool and for finding other players' truths. Get to it. Timers at the halfway mark. Remember, you need one truth and one lie. Moment of truth. Which statement about this player is true?
spot the truth. Is it? Yes. to Doodle Valley, the town where they filmed many establishing shots for the 2004 film Welcome to Mooseport. Thank you all for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, there's still time to join the audience and help the cause. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Lucille. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this piece has already been started. Mrs. Palmer's boy Leroy started drawing, 
this. But he got distracted by a weird dog before he could finish. That's horrible. How can you start something and not complete it? We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, everybody. Ready? Set? What? Oh, go! While our artists work, the rest of you can express your feelings about each drawing with the buttons on your device. I just love to jam on them. Time's running out. Hurry up and finish. Oh, I wish both of these could win, but it's my civic duty to let the voters decide. Come on, vote, why don't ya? Here we go! We've got our results! Not so fast, Mary Beth! Each match, I'll be picking an emoticon that tickles my fancy and giving out a bonus to the drawing that got the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most purple bananas, or whatever those are. I love it! Now how about you two give it a shot? Go! time let's see how that shook out all right let's give it up to the vegetables hooray the people have spoken okay let's see what you two can do go Time to vote! Let's count those votes! Next on deck... Go! to vote! Okay, count them up! Are you feeling what I'm feeling? I think our piece is done! Now all it needs is a title! Type one in using your device.
Which one is it gonna be? Let's vote! The hard work's done! Let's step back and admire our work! It's the blank spaces between the lines I appreciate. Que bueno! Let's take this community spirit to a new part of town. Hmm, how about here? I think we're really going to change some lives with this one. Go! Away. Moment of truth. Up next, go. up those votes. Next up. Go! It's voting time! I love this part! Next up... Go! Rack up those votes. This bad boy is ready for a title.
find the title that speaks to you and vote. Buckle up, here comes the final piece. I wonder if we should have started with a smaller surface. 23 skadoo! What's next, Mr. Mayor? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Malvin. That's not... You know what? Never mind. What is it? Your art has moved me to commission you to do a portrait. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> Listen up, everyone, because this time you're all drawing at once. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. There you go, a fine subject for our portrait. Okay, but how are we supposed to know what they look like? Ah, uh, you remember. They lived over in, on the north side of town. They used to haul sand. Remember, they take it, they fill up the truck Between you and me, and I don't think he knows who it is either. So let's just start by drawing the face on the left. Any face will do. So many good choices here. Let's vote on whose is best. Okay, let's give that middle face some love. Okay, vote. Now for face number three. Rosemary, as mayor, I get to break all the ties. I'm gonna pick this one. Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts with it!
guys. Really put your heart into it. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> they should have sent a poet. You're all winners in my heart, but the votes tell a different story. The winner of the game. Hey! Oh, Civic Doodle. Civic Doodle.
Hey there, I'm Cookie, and I was born nine months after Toyotathon. Hey, five players. If you'd made it to six, I was going to put my pants on. Well, too bad. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's play. This is round one where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Give me a category. Here's the first question. Among the advice given to Game of Thrones actor Amelia Clark by her mother was, don't do drugs, have sex, or touch your blank. Now make something up to fool your opponents and submit it on your device. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. Alright, now find the truth and select it on your device. And what did people pick? <laughs> it's a shutout. <laughs> now that I could believe might lead to blindness. Select the category. No, please allow me. Let's see what we got. After being inspired by a surreal 1960s movie, Russian restaurateur Alexei Khodorovsky opened a bar staffed entirely by blank. Type in your lies now. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Okay, find the truth.
All right, who picked what? And no triplets alternating shifts. They've been burned before. Okay, pick a category. I see you can't be bothered. Here's a question for you. In 2010, British biomedical researcher James Gilpin bottled and distilled his own brand of single malt whiskey that's fermented using blank. Write your lies now. Welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia, the constantly oozing. I'll be hosting six nights of putrid pairings, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually, did I mention you're all secret monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Let's all put ourselves out there emotionally in a way that will almost certainly come back to haunt us. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely.
mentioned that your secret conversations might be seen by everyone during the dates. My bad. until any unsent messages are lost forever. Hurry up! Oh, sorry. Time's up. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with. Okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. <laughs> Stick around. There's another one for you. If you only get one message from someone, they're probably not that into it. already know how this will go. Wow, what an exciting first night. Let's go to the scoreboard. So you are doing the best, and you're temporarily in last place. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, look, it's a full moon tonight. That might affect some of your powers. Now that we know how this works, let's just jump into sending out those messages. If you need to block another player, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, there's a block button in there and then you won't see their messages. Just 20 more seconds. Okay, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? You'll find out. Okay, let's see him. Oh. 
Stay right there, there's more. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's not over yet. <laughs> wow, that was exhausting. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. A little moving around in there. Don't forget, at the end of each night from now on, the highest ranking secret monster will have their identity revealed. You're at the top. Let's take a peek at your monster identity. Body Swapper! On a full moon, the body swapper swaps hearts, all of them, with the person they successfully date. You can read that again whenever you want on your device by hitting the info button on their chat screen. The same goes for any monster after they're revealed. Night three. Message time! Oh, a quick word of advice. If you let a player know you're definitely dating them, they may be more likely to date you back. like some other people had the same idea. Let's see what happens. social pecking order. Well, 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 some stuff definitely happened there. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. Leprechaun! Everyone who dates an unrevealed leprechaun gets two fake hearts. When the leprechaun is revealed, that's right now, all fake hearts disappear. At this moment, leprechauns get one bonus heart for every player that drops in the rankings. One bonus heart for the Leprechaun for one player dropping in the rankings. Night four. Get to messaging.
20 seconds. Okay, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. Oh, I can't watch. I'm closing my 29 eyes. Let's see the dates. You two were maybe playing a little too hard to get. Don't go yet, there's more. <laughs> Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Let's see what's what now. Power moves. Time to see your monster power. Vengeful Ghost! The Vengeful Ghost starts the game with a bonus heart. When the Vengeful Ghost asks someone on a date and gets rejected, that person loses a heart. Be careful around the Vengeful Ghost. Night five. Uh oh, full moon tonight. Message time! Only 20 seconds left. Oh, sorry. Time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I haven't felt this nervous since I ate Cleveland. It's date time! A full moon date for the body swapper means a full heart swap is coming. And this means rejection for our extra lonely heart over there. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Oh, fun! Things are happening. Let's see what you are. Glob! Every time the Glob successfully dates three new players, its heart tally doubles.
It's our last night together. Make it count. You get two hearts for dating now because it's such a special night. Oh, and what a perfect night for a full moon. This should be interesting. Last night. Yes, it's true. Get to messaging. again. If my heart could still beat, it would be skipping a few right now. Let's see those dates. Like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. Let's see the almost final standings. One last thing. It's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster powers. Time for another reveal. Invisible person! The invisible person started the game with two bonus hearts. The invisible person's score is invisible, so they appear to be in last place until the end of the game. There is 